Hey guys, today we're trying something a little bit different with our game of the month video. So please bear with us and tell us what you think. The game we're looking at today is our Mallow, which is made by a core team of four known as League of Geeks here in our hometown of Melbourne. Filled with anthropomorphic characters that would be right at home in the late Brian Jarks' Red War universe, the game certainly has a lot of charm. But today, we're mainly focusing on our Mallow as a digital board game. Essentially, digital board games are just electronic copies of tabletop games. So if you take Monopoly, and you put it on your phone, you got yourself a digital board game. Another example is the free-to-play Hearthstone, which is basically an automated card game. That Hearthstone has become so popular in its less than two year existence, shows that the digital board game genre is on the rise. Returning to the Monopoly example, you could play it on a device like this. But what's taking digital board games to the next level is the rise of new technology. When the iPad released, League of Geeks took notice. The device was perfect for adapting board games as its screen could function as the game board. But when they went looking for iPad versions of their favourite RPG tabletop games, the crew were left a little disappointed with what they played. On the flip side, it inspired them to fill this void with what would become our Mellow. The challenge for our Mellow has been taking advantage of its digital nature. Basically, what can it do that a physical board game can't? What makes it worthwhile? Well, as soon as you digitise a board game, the first and most apparent change is that the computer takes control. This has three main benefits. Firstly, human error is taken out of the equation. It's not too big of a deal, but in an RPG type game like Armello that has a lot of characters and damage calculations, things can go wrong. Secondly, it takes the burden out of bookkeeping. Again, it's not the most paramount of things, but with all the numbers and calculations taken care of, the game is less arduous. Lastly, and most importantly, it speeds up the game. Speeding up the game is crucial, as one of the shortfalls of digital board games is that long waiting times make players disengaged. However, and rather ironically, our Mallow as a digital board game somewhat struggles to quicken the pace of the game. When playing against the AI, waiting for your turn is exasperated by having to watch all of their animations during their turns. Now don't get us wrong, the animations are beautiful and undeniably add a lot of character to the game, but they also slow it down counteracting Armello's ability as a digital game to be faster and better flowing. So although Armello has digital advantages such as being computer operated and animations, they are not always actually advantages, as in this case when the two conflict with and offset one another. On the other hand, Armello makes innovative use of digital platforms with some of its in-game abilities. One of these is Stealth, a fairly common ability in games that usually makes certain characters undetectable. When a character is put into stealth mode in Armello, such as by putting them into a forest at night, they become invisible to the other player. This doesn't seem so groundbreaking, but what makes it amazing is that it can't be done in a physical board game. It's simply impossible to make characters invisible to other players around the table because everyone shares the same game board. But when two players are using different devices to play the game, two versions of the same game board can be generated. Armello makes other great uses of the digital space, such as for storytelling and world building, but the stealth mechanic is the most exciting because it shows the potential of digital board games to extend beyond their physical brethren. With thanks to new technology, the door has been opened up for the emergence of digital board games. There are now new options that can be used to reinvent the board game genre, as has been done by Hearthstone. This is by no means easy however, as we've seen in our analysis of our Mallow. The game both struggles and thrives on its digital setting. Its animations are great, but at times slow down the game, something a turn-based game really wants to avoid. But then the example of the stealth mechanic demonstrates sheer brilliant innovation within the game's digital parameters. Ultimately, Armello shows both the opportunities and pitfalls that the digital space offers board games and any future developers that choose to tackle this emerging genre should be aware of them. As for the present, our Mallow is one of the best digital board games around. It has a rich lore, is a fun game, and more than all of that, it's a pioneer in its field. 